Getting explanations for your predictions is becoming increasingly important. How can we use Cloud AI Platform's prediction service to generate explanations? Stay tuned to find out. Welcome to AI Adventures, where we explore the art, science, and tools of machine learning. My name is Yufeng Guo, and on this episode, we're going to explore AI explanations, which is now built into Cloud AI Platform's prediction service, allowing you to have feature attributions for each and every one of your predictions. AI explanations integrates feature attributions into AI Platform prediction, and it helps you understand your model's outputs for classification and regression tasks. This means AI explanations can tell you how much each feature in the data contributed to the predicted result. This is super useful because you can then verify the model is behaving as you would expect, recognize bias as it's happening, and get ideas for how you can improve your training data and model. Feature attributions are available for tabular data as well as image data and are specific to individual predictions. Currently, there is the limitation in AI explanations that it only supports models trained on TensorFlow 1.x. And if you're using Keras to specify your model, you'll need to convert it into an estimator using the model to estimator utility. Now let's talk a little bit about the particulars of feature attribution and how it works. AI Explanations offers two methods, sampled Shapley and integrated gradients. Both methods are based on the concept of Shapley values, which is a cooperative game theory algorithm that assigns credit to each player in a game for a particular outcome. Here, each feature is treated as a player in that game, and proportional credit is assigned to each of those features for the outcome of a prediction. Integrated gradients are best suited for differentiable models, like neural networks. It's especially useful for models with large feature spaces. It computes the gradients of the output with respect to the input, multiplied element-wise with the input itself. For those who remember their calculus class, this is essentially a Taylor approximation of the prediction function at the input. Bet you didn't expect to see Taylor approximation reference today. Now let's talk briefly about the other feature attribution method, sampled Shapley. It assigns credit for the outcome of each feature and also considers different permutations of those features and is most suitable for non-differentiable models, like ensembles of trees. There are a number of articles and research papers which dive way deeper into these explainability methods, which I've linked to below. They're all very well written and super interesting to read. So if you like these topics, I would encourage you to dive in and check them out. If you are ready to try out AI explanations for your deployed model, head on over to the guides in the documentation. There's one for tabular data and another one for image data. And best of all, they're presented as CoLab notebooks, so it's super easy to try it out. One final note before we wrap up. Last episode, we talked about the What If tool, an open source tool for understanding your model's predictions. AI explanations can be used in concert with the What If tool to get an even more in-depth understanding of your predictions. The process for doing that is also detailed in those CoLab notebooks I mentioned earlier, and I'll be sure to link to it in the description below. Thanks for watching this episode of Cloud AI Adventures. And if you enjoyed it, click that like button and be sure to subscribe to get all the latest episodes right when they come out. For now, check out AI Explanations on Google Cloud AI Platform to get your predictions explained.